as long as you fix the camera to where it's on video, let me fix the camera to where it's on video, welcome to the podcast, welcome back to another episode of Books and Bullshit. Did you start it already? Where the topics are made up and your opinions don't matter. My name is Zachary Chopchinsky, the Bowtie Author, USA Today bestseller, that's right, eat it, bitches. I'm here with Martina McAtee, the queen of Snark and Dark, another USA Today bestselling author, and she'll never tell you that for some stupid reason. Because it's obnoxious. It's so obnoxious. It's on my book covers, if they really want to know. You, just, you gotta always be on, like me today in the fucking coffee Jesus shop. Jesus Christ, Zachary. I can't even with you. Like, every time, you don't even talk like a normal person anymore. You're just like... Oh, hey, how are you? Trigger fingers. Ah, <laughs> USA Today bestselling author. <laughs> like, just like, ah. That just impression like, of me <laughs> is the best shit I've ever you're, seen. You're just like, really ever. Wish you <laughs> ever. <laughs> that was amazing. Just, hey, hey, how you doing, guy? <laughs> That's exactly how it, how it sounds, because you don't sound like you. You instantly go into, like, announcer guy voice. You're just like, oh, hey, so, uh. I'm just like, stop that! Who are you? Who is that guy? Well, hello there. My name is Zachary <laughs> Chopchinsky. I'm the bow tie author. I, too, write books. What you writing there? You writing some poems? That sounds really interesting. <laughs> exactly. We should definitely get together and probably make some sort of a work together. Now Maybe you, we'll both now become you famous. Sound like uh, Christian Bale. Yes, exactly. Um, From American, American Psycho. Psycho. <laughs> I'm Paul Allen. <laughs> and this is the rest of the story. <laughs> Which I guess that fits in with our topic. This is Susudio, personal favorite. (laughs) For the record, for those of you listening, I wanted to do this podcast in my radio voice, but they wouldn't let me. (laughs) So he's now slipping into his William Shatner voice. So you guys get... In my radio voice. You guys guys get this fucking voice when really you could have had this voice the whole time, but uh, I guess it's not good enough or it's too goddamn creepy. (laughs) For the record, that's how one of our techs at work talks. (laughs) On purpose? Yes. That's his his voice. So he's always having to feed instructions to the patients. He's like, all right, I'm going to need you to take a deep breath and hold it hold it yeah it's like and breathe i'm like rah stop it curtis <laughs> i'm gonna need you to i'm gonna need you to hold it and then i'm gonna need you to breathe and we're breathing great <laughs> job team that's kind of how he sounds i feel like the look on his face should always be like <laughs> exactly except he's the most hipster fucking dude ever he's like completely bald he's got glasses he wears jogger scrubs the ones with the tight elastic at the bottom to highlight his funny socks, because he's usually wearing like hot pink socks with pizzas on them or something crazy, and then his sneakers, and it is a sight to behold. He is very hipster, and he talks like that. It's it's a thing. I would like a caramel macchiato, please. Yep, that's him. <laughs> is he gay by any chance? Um, depends on who you ask. <laughs> that he triggered my gaydar fast. But everybody else says no. Well, hello there, big fella. <laughs> this otter's a power bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for his pillow top. <laughs> Will you be that one for me? All right, so I gotta start reading. <laughs> Are we gonna tell people what we're talking about today? Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot we're on a podcast. Um, So... <laughs> Today, we are going to do something that's very interesting, and I'm going to sit here with a straight face and tell Martina and the Curtains how to accurately write and describe women in literature (laughs) by the wonderful examples of other male authors. Yeah. Are you guys picking up on the sarcasm yet? God damn it, now I want to do this voice uh, all uh. the time. Ha 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 ha. God, gives me the creeps i know right i'm gonna try that next time we're doing maritals okay could you you realize you're on camera scratching your junk (laughs) i had forgotten but it's awesome because i was scratching my nuts this whole time (laughs) hey if you're watching this on camera you paid for the shit you're in the splash zone sorry like Layla. my nuts keep itching eventually something's gonna have to happen so let's get into this so martina run them down real quick because I, I haven't pulled it up yet so what am i actually so tell them what i'm about to do 
He is about to read some examples of men who have legitimately written these passages about describing female characters. And these are all in legit trad pub books. And some of these people are very famous. Shall we cite the book? Uh, if it's on there. It might be. Yeah, if it's I'm on not there, you citing can't... extra shit unless I absolutely have to. Well, I mean... Okay. okay, whatever. Fucking slacker. Well, no, I mean, uh, am I going to get... Oh, I guess it's a, it's an actual thing, so I'm not, well, like, slandering on a Twitter. people. It's on a Twitter feed. Twitter like, don't get in trouble for slander? No, they don't, but it's not slander if they wrote it. That's true. Like, we're not, we're not saying they didn't write it. <laughs> they fucking wrote it. Okay, well, no, it's I'm down. Are we ready to do this? Are you ready to do this? I'm you ready to do this. scratching your nuts there? Some of them Nowhere have sources, near. some of them don't. Because some of them are screenshots, and the ones that are screenshots... At the bottom, it might tell you the source. I wonder if I can go from like, oh, I can go from one to the next just yes. swiping, so. Swiper, no swiping. Sorry. All right, so without further ado, we're going to do this. <laughs> hey. All right, so. Oh, God. Now, also, fun fact, I haven't seen any of these. Yeah. <laughs> so these are going to be some live-ass reactions to yeah, the fucked be prepared up shit these to two cringe. are making me write, read here. So, let's do this. <laughs> when she stopped crying, oh god, Madeline composed herself before the mirror. Her skin looked blotchy. Her breasts, of which, were nor- which she was normally proud, had withdrawn into themselves, <laughs> as if depressed. <laughs> Madeline knew that this self-appraisal might not be accurate. <laughs> Wait a minute. First off, she's clearly upset. Oh, I know, but now you can't see my face. That's fine. Nobody wants to see that face anyway. <laughs> wow. Uh, you called me a horny chipmunk. And your wife a fat, funky squirrel. Mo- I think you should just shut the fuck up and take it. Months ago. No, wow. you called me a horny chipmunk literally a moment ago. Yeah, well, you're hey, different. Listen, it doesn't matter how long ago you called me a fat punk squirrel. The fact is that you infected. I don't like that there's a fucking spotlight on my face and you both are like, you know what you did. Tell us what you did on the night of July 6th. Like, what the fuck? All right. So, um, I didn't know breasts could withdraw. Uh, I am. Uh, hey, listen, if breasts could withdraw <laughs> during, because of depression, <laughs> fuck. They're not like, I wouldn't even need to think about a breast reduction. <laughs> they're not like dog ears where they just droop when you're sad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't like your boobs, girls? Just think happy thoughts. <laughs> right? They're going to perk right up like you do. That's why we call coffee perky. Um, well, yeah, that's just dumb it was fucking that's dumb. not how breasts work have you ever seen breasts that weren't your mother's me no <laughs> the asshole that wrote that i don't even know who the asshole was that wrote it that's, yeah, that one doesn't have no the other one didn't have it either moving on <sighs> i'm sure everybody really liked hearing that <sighs> the problem with this one here is this is a screen this is a shot of a book but the page is curved and it kind of cuts off the words so i'm not entirely sure what some of these words at the end of the page were that cut to the next sentence hold please well you don't actually literally have to hold maybe move on okay i don't know <laughs> home of the ladies would be giggling over their wine and salacious stories Some, he thought, might even concern him. He often wondered if they discussed him during their frivolous times together. He wasn't anxious about it. His sexual prowess was beyond reproach in comparison. Perhaps they even admired him from his reflection... From him in his reflection between them. After all, he had tasted, learned from, and instructed both their bodies and their souls. Oh, for fuck's sake. I hate your fucking character, Get dude. over yourself, God. you fucking punk. Or fuck yourself. Either way, fucking narcissistic douche. Ugh. Am I coming in okay on the sound on this? Oh, yeah, we got your narcissistic douchebag all <laughs> loud and clear. I'm trying to, like... I don't know. Maybe I need to speak louder so then it makes sense. I don't think okay. it would make sense no matter how loud you speak. Sorry, you're right You're right up Main Street and you're just looking at my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's because it's nervous or what, but it's itchy I like that the red. I like that the red dot is right over your junk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
Just got to part it to the side. You paid for this. Yes, you did. Okay. I was after girls who wanted to be cowgirls, and I never asked too many questions. (laughs) Ones I tried to weed out were the ones that were in love with horses. (laughs) Keep reading. It gets better. You know, the Freudian thing. A lot of parents about that time... About the time their baby daughters started pushing out their sweaters from the front, they buy them horses and divert their attention from boys. Um, <laughs> what they really buy them is a thousand pound organic vibrator. A horse is great for good, clean, hands above the sheets masturbation, and some girls never outgrow the thrill of it. Those just don't make real cowgirls. All right, sorry, you're. You're getting it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Zachary. What is wrong with you? You have crabs? <laughs> Here's the deal. It's like, I know I'm not supposed to, and now I have to. So goddamn bad. It's like when somebody's laying on your arm, and it's like, motherfucker, my nose itches like a son of a bitch. Like... They're looking at me, and my balls are like, you know what Really, we could really go for? Exfoliating. <laughs> like, that's what we want right now. Twig and Barry said, scratch, please. Um, so, <laughs> here's the deal. That's not how horses work. <laughs> they don't vibrate, I promise you. I grew up on a horse farm. Actually, it, it hurts. If you're, depends on how you're riding the horse, but it's not. Like, it's not like <laughs> If you're writing it underneath, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I, 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 if you're clinging from the bottom. She's pulling a top gun. I was inverted. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree, I, Layla. It you, does depend on how you're riding the horse. <laughs> if you're bareback versus a saddle, you mean? Yes. That is very true. But either way... Or if you're writing Western or English. Well, that that is also something to consider, yes. Is it dressage? It's two two different saddles as well. Oh, my fucking God. Um, So, yeah. uh, These are all written by men, right? I'm correct in this? Yes. This is embarrassing. The entire thread is called men... Was it men writing women badly? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Okay. Get small again. Randomly, there's that one thing she put in about, was it you or her that was reading the book about the baby, the giving birth thing? That was Megan. Okay, because that's in there too, I hey, think. Hey, no spoilers here. Don't, don't ruin but this But I think it was me. from a different book. That's why, because I don't know if it's from the same thread. Okay. She raises her head and ropes of muscles stand out from her mons. Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop reading, Zach. All right. I'm sorry. I had to collect myself. <laughs> she raises her head and ropes of muscle stand out from her mons pubis to her sternum like a bread loaf. <laughs> <laughs> Is she a fucking Barbie doll? <laughs> she watches him and then she lays her head back down and she closes her eyes as she feels her soul... To be as she feels her soul to be a stalk of pigment growing in the dark foundation, slithering toward a keyhole of light between the floorboards, greedy and sun starved. What, what the, the fuck, fuck is that? that on? Like, what the fuck? How many drugs had this guy taken for that fucking. Like, what the hell is he even describing? I don't know. I feel like he was walking through, like, the organic aisle at Whole Foods and was, was describing like, random red. herbs. <laughs> Alfa- her alfalfa sprout pubis region. Like, what the fuck? I don't even... Like, this is the type of guy that would be like, her labia majora was swollen. <laughs> like, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back off the lingo there, pal. <laughs> A labia. Um... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. This next one's bad because the woman, the character's name sounds like a venereal disease. It does. <laughs> Every time I had to read it, I was like, "What the fuck is her name?" 
and I'm sorry, but the verb is not complimentary to any person. Cytheria waddles into the kitchen. <laughs> Seeing the bloated beast reminds me of why he oogles Kaz. She is a skilled, insatiable lover, but generally cruel and crude. As usual, she is all gut and tit and ass and dresses in a general whorish manner. <laughs> I wish somebody would describe me like that. Like, he's all gut and tit and ass and dresses like a whore. Oh, we have. <laughs> Layla and I talk about it all the time. Thanks. Whore. <laughs> um, right now, it is just a long black men's t-shirt emblazoned with Blessed B, which is a laugh. Generally, seems her spells don't work any better than the weights she periodically lit. Wow, this dude's a bitch. Yeah. Or maybe they do. It might explain how fat purple haired slut in what? It might explain how a fat purple haired slut in far too much makeup picks up a man as attractive as Micah and manages to bring him home as many lovers as many lovers as she does. You dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like there's more to this, but I'm going to stop there. Like you <laughs> You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> we don't know who you are, but we'll find you. Yeah. You're a cocksucker. Yeah, damn, I don't... I wish I could cite that asshole. Some of them do some... Money. I don't want to cite his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like, he might like I want to lay eyes on that eye. Um, <laughs> here's another one. She was walking toward me now. Dark curls bouncing. Woolen scarf swaying to the rhythm of her hips. The rhythm is gonna get you. <laughs> Thanks, Gloria. <laughs> um, breasts struggling to work the top button of her jacket loose with each confident stride. Of course, tits are in here. The blood began to race. Because you know they are sentient creatures. <laughs> and they're just trying to break that top button. Oh, my, my widow titty's trying to break out of my shirt. <laughs> the blood began to race through my veins. The nose of the mechanical... The noise. The noise of the mechanical diggers and pneumatic drills fading to a low hum. Yeah, do you know where she is? She's not answering the door. Close enough now that I could hear the rub of the denim between her thighs. Calm down, fucker. I could take this one of two ways. Probably avoid a scene by way of swift, decisive action. But as so often happens in the face of astounding natural beauty, my honesty beat me to the punch. Yes, I said, she's in the garden. The sad part about this is that it's clearly, like... It, it, it's clearly a, um random character it's not like he's even into this chick it's like some girl walked up to him and it's just like and then he just has to describe how fucking hot she is in the most creeptastic manner possible and he's just like oh uh, yeah have a nice day ma'am <laughs> like, while he's imagining the denim rubbing between her fucking thighs and her titties are yeah just... trying to get that top button undone so they can expose themselves to this fucking Herbert. You sent me the Pythagorean waddles one twice. Well, because there's so many of them that they might get mixed up. There was a lot. And they were in two different places. Okay, she thought I was dissolved in water. Okay, this one just jumps right into a conversation. I like your mother. You have your mother's breasts. Her breasts? Great, stand up tits, he said. He ate quickly, inhaling his food. Then he ate her food. He thought he could feel the glucose entering his cells. The best part is, is that it wasn't a question when she said her breasts. So I like your mother. You have your mother's breasts. Her breasts. <laughs> Are you talking to a parrot? <laughs> because You have your mother's breasts. Her breasts. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, who fucking greenlit this? Oh, and this does have the name. Uh, Cosmopolis by Don, what? Delilio? Delilo. Delilo? Oh, he would be Italian. <laughs> oh, shit. shit. Shots fired. No, because now I'm reading this. I'm surprised it... you didn't say, oh, his name would be Don. Like, now I'm re... Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Because now I'm reading this, like, I like your mother. You have your mother's breasts. Her breasts? Yeah, great stand-up tits, he said. <laughs> Now, now listen to your jaw Travolta. I like your mother's breasts. That's Christopher Walken. 
no. But also John Travolta. <laughs> It's, it's like John Travolta Walken. had sex with Christopher Walken, <laughs> and like, you, why are you doing our? <laughs> yeah, you're on camera. Why are you jiggling? <laughs> Is that supposed to be one of their asses? Like, breasts. It's great stand up breasts. <laughs> jiggly, jiggly. Can I call no, you jiggly? jiggly? <laughs> All right, so let's get back into the next one. It was like washing the dust off a window that you did. Oh, well, hang on. Oh, no. The, why is this one random section highlight? I didn't do that. Oh, yeah. It's don't don't worry about the just random okay. highlight. Part. By 6.30, I was ready to go, although I couldn't get my palms to stop sweating. My knees weak. My arms <laughs> <were heavy>. Mom's <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get my palms to stop sweating. When Lila opened her door... I was astonished. A red sweater hugged her torso and waistline, showing all curves I didn't know she had. Well, she is a human. She has curves. <laughs> he was astounded. Yeah. Way to go there, it's Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> way, way to go, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Try not to remember to act like a reptile person. <laughs> okay. I showed him curves I didn't know she had. Um, and a skinny black shirt squeezed her hip. She's wearing a sweater. And a skinny black shirt. Skirt. Skirt, skirt. Zach. It's oh. a skirt. <laughs> yeah, or, he's like, get his fucking right. I feel like I'm back in third grade Sing reading. Sing it if you have to, Motelis, but get it the fuck out. Like, God. <laughs> Showing off her. Okay, okay. Skinny black skirt squeezed her hips, sliding down her thighs as smooth as melting chocolate. Ew. She wore... Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be wanting to think about her thighs and melting chocolate yeah, That is right not now. an imagery I find sexy. Where are you guys going sexy. to eat right now? Chipotle? <laughs> Sliding down her thighs as smooth as melted chocolate. She wore makeup, which I'd never seen her do before. Her cheeks, her lips, her eyes, all quietly demanding my attention. It was like washing the dust off a window you didn't realize was dirty. Ooh. Fucking rude <laughs> as shit. Yes, and of course women only wear makeup for men's attention. That's why I fucking put on makeup. Wow. I fought to keep from grinning. I wanted to grab her, squeeze her, and kiss her. More <laughs> than for anything, George. One, <laughs> I wanted to assault her right then and there. Yeah, exactly. The least amount of permission, the better. I was thinking about sex crimes. Wow. Dong, dong. <laughs> In the criminal justice system. <laughs> Sexually based offenses are considered especially <laughs> heinous. These are their stories. <laughs> dong, dong. In New York City, the dedicated detectives. detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite <laughs> squad known, known as, as the Special Victims Unit. Unit. These, these are, are their, their stories. stories. Dong, dong. dong. <laughs> Some people sing along to songs with friends. <laughs> we just have our own thing that we do. It's not okay, like we... hang on. So he just insulted her. Okay. Keep from grinning. I wanted to grab her, squeeze her, kiss her. Love her, squeeze her. Then you got to, got to try a little tenderness. spend time with her walking and talking and watching a play well don't you look nice she said <laughs> brb i need to wash the person commented that shared this brb i need to wash my face and bleach my eyeballs <laughs> the, the life, life we, we bury. bury by alan eskins yeah the life we bury like it's the fact that i read because this he shit. wouldn't stop assaulting her <laughs> so she buried his ass in the backyard and planted catnip oh god i forgot the next one it's all right so Waistband of her pantyhose cut into the skin. I slipped my hand under the elastic and reached for the ten thousandth time for the wool of her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pick the lint out? <laughs> and then he shaved it in a nice sweater. The wool of her pussy, automatically, like a luckless man diving for the rabbit's foot in his pocket. <laughs> a rabbit's foot in their pocket she, how deep is this motherfucker's pocket she put her lips against my neck breathing into my earlobe are we still talking about her <laughs> pussy <laughs> i just feel like there's just like some weird heavy breathing oh, God. <laughs> god damn you guys can't write for shit yeah who is this one this was describing semen <laughs> hang on 
Describing semen like it's the gorgeous thing and a pussy like it's dirty says a lot about the current political climate. Oh shit, this woman got real. <laughs> Wonder Boys by Michael Chabon. I'm going to go Chabon. ahead and say with a book a book entitled Wonder Boys, I wouldn't have thought it was about a hetero relationship. Nope. Stop me when I lie. Nope. <laughs> Bartina here. <laughs> our gay panel says. Yeah, no, that sounds gay as fuck. All right, cool. Okay. I stopped drinking, not because I had a drinking problem, although I suppose I may have, but because alcohol had mysteriously become so poisonous to my body that one night a half bottle of George Dickel stopped my heart for almost <laughs> Wait, 20 George seconds. George Dickel? Can we talk about that for a minute? What the fuck is George Dickel? Shh. <laughs> Clearly he didn't get the express written permission from a certain label. George... George Dickel stopped my heart for all... Are we still talking about alcohol, or did somebody named George know. Dickel stop your heart? Okay, stopped my heart from for almost 20 seconds, and turned out I was allergic to the stuff. But when, after count, but when, after counting off five discrete minutes, I followed Sarah, and the sparkling pearl protein lodged in the innermost pleats of her belly, back down the path... What? <laughs> he, call, he came in her belly button. It's on her belly button. Thanks, curtains. Yeah, I didn't get that at all. I was like, does he not know where the clit is? I followed Sarah <laughs> and the sparkling pearl of protein lodged in the innermost pleats of her belly back what? down the first, uh, back down to the first party of the weekend. I found the prospect of... Don't worry about it because it's not worth reading anymore. <laughs> eh. Moving on. Oops. Oh, this is so gross. Okay, this one is... Mysterioso by Arnie Dahl. You would be an Arnie. Yeah, this one, I think you can just read the... the um. <clears throat> she stuck her hand into her panties and fished out a pad soaked with blood, holding it toward him. <laughs> this has never happened. This has never happened. This has never happened. Stop it. Who are you? Like, have you met a woman before? Like, do you understand? Because, like... <laughs> whips it around though i have to say it would probably be a very like very effective defense mechanism because you just hold a tampon that's clean towards a man and he immediately just is repelled back like it's a cross and he's a vampire on the streets we call these we call this a vampire tea bag <laughs> gross um that wait a minute a no i gotta set this up the day um, okay, we're going most, back to the beginning. Oh yeah, the day started in the most imaginable way. The bedroom was utterly suffocating. The early spring sun had played over the blinds for a while, trapping in the stuffiness. With a stiff, persistent morning erection, he had crept <laughs> closer to Scylla. Okay, can we stop about the, and talk about the crept closer creeper? <laughs> okay, well I can say for most guys. All right, this, this, this you're just creeping closer. This is a maneuver. We call it, we go, you call it the creeper? We call it the Woken Poke. <laughs> Hang on, I see where the guy's going. Let's see where this goes. Um, who was unobtrusively as possible as she wiggled the opposite direction. He, um, he didn't notice, refused to notice, crept closer with his stubborn, stifled urgency. So he's trying to assault. Right. <clears throat> no means no, you fucks. And she slipped away, inch by inch, until she, she fell off the bed. <laughs> got too close to the edge of the bed and fell to the floor. Oh, she did! Do you guys see how fucking obnoxious you are? He bolted upright, standing, um, uh, sitting up. Hang on. He bolted upright, sitting up in a bed, wide awake. His erection abruptly lost. She quietly got up off the floor, shaking her head, wordless with fury. So she whips out the pad. So basically, she's like, this is why I was sliding away from you, you horny motherfucker. Why do we have to even say why? Why can't we just... He gave a slight grimace that was both apologetic and filled with... Then the page goes blank. Because it doesn't matter. Nobody gives a fuck about this guy. I hope he died. Oh my god. Okay, first off, this is going to be gold because the main pro- the man's name is Dino. <laughs> like the His good name dinosaur. is Dino. Yeah. D I N O N D I N O S A. You are a dinosaur. Thanks, Kesha. I'll never forget how to spell dinosaur again. It's true. O L D M A N. You're just an old man hitting on me. What? 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 You need a cat scan. love kesha i don't care what anybody says i fucking love her 
<clears throat> Dino put his feet up and chatted for a couple of minutes. Then he put down the phone and returned to the table. Okay, he said. The me. M-E. The M-E. Sorry. <laughs> well, there should be periods there, but there's not. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. So I, I thought he was talking about himself in the third person. <laughs> the me. It wouldn't surprise me with the type of fucking stories we've been getting. Yeah, no. The M-E confirms, oh, his first estimate time of death. The girl had a tiny purse tucked into her... <laughs> Right? <laughs> no. Go back and say it. The girl had a tiny purse tucked into her vagina, just big enough to hold her driver's license, a credit card, and a few bucks. How convenient. Her name is Elizabeth Sweeney. Where does she live? <laughs> Fucking homeless if she's tucking shit into her prison pocket. For the record, this was written by Stuart Woods, who is a repeat New York Times best-selling thriller novelist my mother used to love his books when i realized that he's the one who wrote this i was just like what can how I, is that fucking possible can i just say this could only make sense contextually if the this was part of the killer humiliating his victim after they died okay but the fact that he said she had a tiny purse in her vagina, as if she was like, you know, I want to go party tonight, and I really don't want to carry oh, no, a no, purse. No, no. <clears throat> Let me use my vagina purse. I know he. That's exactly what he fucking meant. But I'm saying, in my me thinking like Criminal Minds kind of deal, like that would be the only way this would make sense. And I guarantee fucking to you, that's not what he meant. But not only that, like the fact that there is actually a man out there who thinks that a woman's vagina could tolerate like just. Having like Stop. a credit card rammed up her hoo-ha. Like <laughs> boop. <laughs> they have sharp edges. I uh I didn't I mean this whole time you guys have been bitching for dresses with pockets. The whole time you guys had an internal one. <laughs> this is why they won't give us pockets, because they think we could use our vaginas. And boobs. Well, I mean I do use my boobs for that. I have plenty of room. I could probably fit a family of four in there if I had to. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, here's another one. She strode prov- she, <clears throat> it's provocatively. I know what the word is. <laughs> she strode provocatively. Strode provocatively just it does doesn't, not roll it, off it, the tongue. It, it no. doesn't. No. <laughs> Your tongue's like no. I can't do yeah, that. I no. just made this noise. I can't make that noise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. She strode provocatively across the room and back toward me. Under the dress, her body was superb. Unlike what I imagined the first time. She was slimmer. Wow. <laughs> she wasn't the fat ass I thought yeah. she was. Fatty That's a relief. Fat, fat over here was slimmer. Really. Her waist, uh, her, really, her waist thin, but her shoulders broad. Her breasts were laughing things that were firmly. <laughs> her breasts were laughing? <laughs> it fucking says <laughs> laughing. Her breasts were laughing things that were firmly in place, although I could see no strap marks of a restraining bra. Restraining. <laughs> this was written by an old white man. I just feel it in a my soul. Bra. Well, you know you gotta slap them bad boys down, or they're just all over the place. I really feel like when, I feel like this guy, when talking to his daughters, calls their bra the over-the-shoulder boulder holder. <laughs> I feel like, and he thinks he's the funniest motherfucker ever. Okay, back to it. Um, although I could see a restraining bra. Her legs were encased in sheer nylons and set in high heels, making her almost as tall as I was. Beautiful legs. They were strong-looking. Oh, they were strong-looking. <laughs> Shapely. They went all the way to the top. <laughs> Oh my god, look, here's the deal. Just stop. <sighs> Man, you're no longer around to write female characters. That's it's all, what this it's is all male get characters to. for you now. Sorry. I have said it before and I'll say it again. An elephant faithful 100%. <laughs> That's an old cartoon. Um, anyway. Write characters as people, and the rest will follow. This is some horseshit, guys, and I can't. I can't even like do every card single this woman shit for is you. just described as either hideous or gorgeous, or and they're fat, some, and yeah. or they're only acceptable now because they ain't a fatty McFat fat anymore. Yeah, they used to look fat, but now that they've you know dolled themselves up a little bit, and you can see that they're not a fat ass, then it's okay. And why do women gesture? The women's breasts are so animated. In books, yeah. 
They are practically their own characters. Like, I feel like Best Supporting Role Award should be going to tits in books. <laughs> best Supporting Role should go to the bra, actually. Exactly. But <laughs> I should write a fucking sonnet about mine. They got a lot of work to do. It's going to be a really heavy subject. <laughs> Very. <laughs> she stood squarely in front of him in a deliberately ugly posture, one hip out. Her breasts thrust forward under the white shirt <clears throat> and the same time sharp and tender. A shirt or her tits? She didn't seem to be drunk, but there was a there was a hot, moist glitter in her eyes. <laughs> wow, Are you, is she okay? Ugh. She's been glitter bombed. Never Don't in the eyes. Her and help her. No eyes, no hair, guys. It's just fucking common decency. Common but decency, even. It would come in decency, yeah. Also, if you're saying if, if she says pull out, pull she out. says pull out. <laughs> That's in one word. Yeah. Pull out. <laughs> she's like, pull, make sure you pull out. Be like, I ain't a sofa or a quitter. Like, that's not cool. Um, she didn't seem to be drunk, but there was a hot, moist glitter. Okay, there's also, like, there should be commas in here, but hot, moist glitter in her eyes. Her eyes were large and violet. Mm-hmm. And, should have been be- and, and should have been beautiful. Her eyes were large and violet and should have been beautiful. But they were With dark circles under them and heavy eyeshadow on the upper lids, they were like two spreading bruises. Oh, you can't say that. Whoa! Oh, God, this is the Damn. one. Damn! Oh, God, is this the one? Oh, God. Oh, this my is the God. One. <laughs> Okay, I let's just let's one. do this together. Just rip the let's just do fast. this together. Okay, her <laughs> cunt's sloshy sounds became increasingly slushier and slushier with each passing second as his fist pounded in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> it was an odd sound, a sound if one did not one better would have been indistinguishably from hot macaroni and cheese being vigorously turned with a wooden spoon. Ah! Never describe fisting like mac and cheese. Uh, and you don't take the fist all the way out. You're just punching That's her. not proper etiquette. You're just giving her an uppercut. That's not fisting. You should be shouting, How do you get each time you do that? You're going to untuck her vagina in the rudest way possible. That's what? how you get a prolapsed vagina. Right? Like, are you just grabbing it, trying to pull it out? Like, it's like one of those, like, snakes that you used to, like, slither in your hands. Like, oh, no, pull the back. And... It's like that thing you hold the handle and you pull the rubber back and let it go and it shoots air across the room. Like, are you trying to, like, if you pull the string and let it go, she's going to say, oh, baby. Like, she's like a full string doll. I mean, what the hell you is You're going to be wrong? forcing a lot of air up there, too. Like, I'm saying, I mean, right? Like, if you pull push too much air in here she's gonna audibly go <sighs> like it's gonna come out of her another way i mean like, she's this probably is... already making plenty of noise if you are fisting her you're fucking gonna vag. give her like, an air embolism yes. like you're going to force her she's gonna be on a thousand and one ways to die like eventually you're gonna get vapo lock and you're not gonna get your fucking hand back and then when she dies you're going to be trapped with your arm inside her you're and gonna... everybody's gonna know it was your fault you're gonna have to go to dive school school where they teach you that if an eel pulls your hand into a hole you have to have a knife and cut your hand off this is how you lose a hand do you want to end up on bizarre er because that's how that shit happens all right and secondly what kind of macaroni are we talking because there's that shitty easy mac that's really loose and sloshy but then there's that really good like Velveeta that's really thick and it's like please don't ruin mac and cheese for me i'm just saying i will say i i I'm Where are you going with this, Layla? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, when Zach was fisting Layla. my vagina. <laughs> I commend anybody brave enough to use the word cunt in a novel. Um, yeah. How about using cunt, <laughs> fisting, and mac and cheese in one goddamn paragraph? Although, if we're using, if we're, if we're using keywords here <laughs> for like a blurb or something, those might be some humdingers right there to throw in. Like, give us three adjectives that describe your book. <laughs> cunt, fisting, mac and cheese. I'm in. I'm, <laughs> like, what? I'm cautious, but, but we'll intrigued. sign. Let's see what you can do with that, sir. Oh no, he's cunt fisting her mac and cheese. Okay, hold on, wait. 
It's not what we thought. It's sort of like an ad lib that went horribly <laughs> awry. <laughs> like, oh my god! I okay, think we so beat that, that one to death. That's the like her vagina. The whole thing. So I'm gonna say. I want mac and cheese now. <laughs> you don't have to read the last one. Why? Because that one is uh, not men. Well, it's men just writing badly, not writing women badly. This was us making fun of Stephen King. Oh, yes. I'm down. Yeah, but I only sent you part of it. Oh. I mean, I could send you the rest of it, but I have to Oh, that's it. the last one. Oh, that's unfortunate. No, we were just having so much fun. So... Can... I saved the best for a laugh. Well, that's the one that started the whole thing. That's the one that, that Rebecca shared, right? Yes. And I was just like, um, what in the holy fucking hell is that? What's our time frame? 40 minutes. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I, um. <clears throat> so, Guys, don't do this. Let this be a cautionary tale. We will make fun of you at What some about point. the Tumblr post where they were like, women were like snapping heels off their shoes and now it's flats. Or they kept describing breasts as melons there's a really good tumblr post about that shit too yeah if you break off high heels they do not then become flats no. you're gonna be walking mm. like they become the most uncomfortable <laughs> uneven wobbly pieces just of take shit. your shoes off bitch and run barefoot you're better off let's be honest he's still gonna catch you and kill you i mean it depends on who wrote the movie is she the supple virgin? Just pull your knife out of your vagina purse <laughs> and just start stabbing. Vagina dentata. <laughs> Sounds like a delicious uh, like meal. A drink. You drink. Like, yeah, I'd like a vagina dentata. Is that made with vodka or tequila? <laughs> to kill you. Don't get it mixed up with the frittata. <laughs> Can I have a vagina dentata and he'll have a Bloody Mary? <laughs> Gross. Oh god damn! Wow, those are bad. They're I terrible. Got some. Yeah, they were mm. really bad. And there's an entire Twitter feed, like people constantly at it. Follow them. It, I, I ha- you follow them. Do you well, have the name them. of the actual feed so people can follow them? It's no, like, it wasn't in the images. It was like oh, give me. only partial. I, I know the one. One of the images actually did have it. Wait, it was these are from the Twitter feed, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah one of the it's, images um, actually. Did. I think it's just called. It's just called uh, at men, men writing men women. women. I think it's men writing women badly. But it's at men underscore under, like, yeah. right underscore something. But if you type in men writing women, I'm sure you'll you'll get what you're looking for. I could pull it Probably more than you bargained for, really. I mean, technically. Yeah, no, it's at day. men underscore right underscore women. And the, and the main, she bobbed tiddly up the, sca- up the stairs with her terrible descriptions <laughs> of women by men. <clears throat> you okay, there's a... <clears throat> Uh, man, these are just, uh... That's where I got all of them. You can go into media. I'm definitely <clears throat> following them. You should. You should all follow them. They're hilarious. <sighs> okay. Her, wonder- her wondrously full breasts soaring all over the place like billowing pennants in a strong wind and her buttocks and strong thighs shim sham shimmering <laughs> I know, this way and that terrible. way like some horrifying bonanza. Bonanza? Bonanza? My titties are over here, my ass is over there, my vagina's got a pocket. (laughs) (laughs) (coughs) It would be kind of handy if vaginas had pockets, but unfortunately it's just not. Besides, how do you reach it in pay? That's what I want to know. Honey, you forgot your wallet, but should I just whip it out right here? Or should I go to the restroom? (laughs) Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on to us, they shouted at me. In all, um, and in all that groping, sometimes I ended up by seizing one of the Mrs. VHD's VHD's breasts. What are you babbling about? Uh, Which were round and firm, and the contact was good and secure, and had an attraction as strong as the moon's, or even stronger... Especially if I managed, as I plunged down. You're like dancing around my balls with your feet while I'm reading this bad men porn. And it's making me really uncomfortable. <laughs> Please stop. Not like this. Not like this. 
Oh, this one's good too. And Catch Twenty Two. Did you see? That's that? the one I read. Uh, the, the one with the wondrously full breasts soaring all over the place. That's the first. I just read that two seconds ago. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the feed. Wow. <laughs> all right. Yeah, some of them are good. Some of them are not. <clears throat> at the foot of that gentle slope stood a girl. The horse had likely been startled by her appearance. <laughs> Damn, are you? You're so ugly, you fucking scare livestock. Frau Bruja. <laughs> <laughs> she was a beautiful young woman with large Clearly eyes that not. seemed a light. Somewhat tanned, she had her black t- tresses tied back. An untamed aura unique to all things living in the wild and emanated from every inch of her. Any man who laid eyes on her with those gorgeous features like sunlight in the summer would undoubtedly draw his attention to the curves of her physique. Yet below the threadbare blue scarf swathing her neck and was concealed in the ankles by, I don't know, just in, oh wait. <laughs> He's cut right to the boobs. Oh no, it's just, this is another bad one. They, they kind of cut it off there. He just, that guy was just incoherent rambling at that point. Oh, that's okay. They've got one by Joss Whedon. Yes. Oh, I saw Wonder it. Woman. Uh, uh, I was like, what happened? <laughs> Close on the girl. To say she is beautiful is almost to miss the point. She is elemental, <clears throat> as natural and wild as the luminous flora surroundings. Her dark hair waterfalls to her shoulders in soft arcs and curls. Her body is curvaceous, but taut as a drawn bow. She wears burnished metal bracelets on both wrists, wide and intricately detailed. <clears throat> her shift is of another era. Her yeah, her shift is of another era. We call it ancient Greek. She is barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> she is barefoot. That's just like. <sighs> oh, your storage is full. Oh, it stopped the video because your iPhone storage is full. Wah, wah, wah. Wow. Well, for those of you playing the home game, the video just stopped. So. <laughs> so that's over. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I, I gotta say that was. Painful? Yeah. And also grotesque? Yeah. All right. So, um, I mean, I think we're, we're about done with, with, uh, with this you particular mind one. you the uh, notebook off of your dog? Martina, dog? now we've given other people's fucking social media. Why don't we hit them up with ours? All right. Oh, God, it got dark in here. I'm too blind for this shit. <laughs> okay, you can find us on the Facebook at Books and Bullshit. On the Insta at Books and BS Podcast. My dog is not happy. Um... And on the Twitter at books bullshit p one, and if you want to email us your fucking weird ass stories or just you know Warm complain men, about women yeah if you want to just email us all kinds of shit we don't care we'll take anything <laughs> we're easy so it is books and bs podcast at gmail dot com don't forget to rate review and subscribe thank you speaking of being easy and us being whores <laughs> I want to talk to you guys a little bit about our friend Patreon. So, um, as you guys know, we talk about it all the time. We guys, we're super happy that because you guys. we're so broke. <laughs> I'm getting to that. Help us. Help. Help me. Help me. Pay me. So, basically, guys, so we have a Patreon, Books and Bullshit, obviously. So, if you guys like what you hear, you want to hear more things, or honestly get access to all sorts, as much as we do in the public forum. And we do on these ones. There's so much more shit that we can't put on here or don't put on here that's on our Patreon. Go check it out. We have tiers as low as ninety nine cents a dollar. All right. So let's let's talk about that. We have all kinds of tiers. The one streaming down our face. I know, right? Whenever you donate a dollar. But each one, the more the 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 different tiers, they have different things, and each one compounds on the previous one. So go check it out if you're interested. There's so much extra stuff in there, and every dollar you guys donate helps us put on this show. So if you're listening to this and you like what you hear and you want to keep hearing it, one dollar you can keep a podcaster fed. Pretty much, yeah. And I eat a lot. But go go check that out because that pretty much that pretty much funds this one for us. So uh, check out our Patreon. Uh, Other than that, you guys have a good one, and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Later.